G'day guys, uh, this is the rotary table um, that I've just finished. Um, it's just been scraped um, and um, finished the programming and it all seems to be working okay. Uh, this is the selection here. I'll put up the links to the sketch in, um, in the comments below. Um, so basically we've got degrees, divisions or a jog setting. So in this case we just go degrees uh, for purpose of the exercise uh, B. And we'll just put, oh sorry, divisions rather, just uh, one and uh, enter. Choose that key there. And it will ask us to go forward. And what I've done is I've set up a, um, a two micron um, indicator on, on a scraped plate. Now the, the plate isn't perfect, it's, it's pretty good. It's within um, a couple of micron, but um, it's not perfect and the surface I'll show at the end is scraped as well so uh, unfortunately I can't get this to repeat so but it will give you some idea of the accuracy anyway so to start it uh, to go forward just go uh, A and it starts it going so you can see that's basically just the noise from the scraping that you're seeing in the indicator there um, it will come it will repeat within 10 which is it's pretty good in itself, but but uh, you know it should it should come back to zero, but it doesn't quite do that. So that will do a lap of honor, and um, hopefully come back something like zero. So basically, while it's doing that, uh, that's the uh, that's the uh, controller there. Um, again, I'll put the sketch below. Um, so we select the 360 degrees, that's the total that it will do, how many steps it moves, we go either forward or backwards or see is clear. I put another button in there as basically an emergency stop button. Uh, so let's see how we did. Okay, it didn't come back too bad. So yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty accurate, especially for an indexing table. So I just take this parallel away so you can have a look at the table itself. Um, that's all been scraped, that it came up within uh, two or three, I think, from memory. Um, not perfect, you know, but it was actually quite remarkably difficult to scrape. I didn't, when I first started, I thought it'd be a piece of cake, but um, it, these ridges through here it really gave me hell with the, the scraping because every time you, you, you know, I went to scrape, uh, it would come up against a, a corner basically. So uh, it, it was a little bit, a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, it's parallel to the to the base uh, within. Uh, I think it came up within two or three, something like that. So that's basically it. That's the um, that's the stepper motor there. It's a NEMA twenty three. Uh, just fabricated up that coupling as per um, model engineering workshop magazine. Happened to be uh, came up with a solution and. Lo and behold, it was exactly the same as I saw in the magazine, so that was uh, that was pretty good. Um, the other section selections we got here, uh, we can either if we clear that, uh, try, it doesn't normally sit up like that. I've just it would normally be flat, but um, if we clear that, that will go back to the welcome message. I've got a little different one there, so we can have either degrees, divisions, or a jog. Um, so I can I can enter degrees. Probably wouldn't use that as much maybe uh, depending on what what you're indexing I guess uh, say 45 same sort of deal hit a and it will go it will turn 45 degrees uh, it can operate in the horizontal mode as it is there or in the vertical mode so I can stand upright uh, that's about it so hopefully that's of some interest to some people and uh, yeah, go out and make one. It's pretty easy. Just an Arduino and I think if I can do it, anyone can do it. Thanks.